Let's do some uh, Dwight. Default with the play button in. 59 or 60 grams, exactly the same as all the black ones that Blue Check have released. They actually got heavier throughout their first revision. 58 without the play button. Yeah, change the sticker. There you go. No, not all the sticker. Still got a bit of a sticker. This bit's a sticker, but looks like your play button might be compatible if you use one. You have kept the little side notch as well. If you want to put your little skates in there. Ugh, still got the same split skate. <laughs> My dear. Same thickness as well. So they change the screw positions. Nope. So we've got exactly three screws. One, two, three, four, five, and six. If you've uh, lost any of these screws or you can use exactly the same screw, it was all of the large set. Oh, it looks identical. So it looks like a 240, but obviously it's not a battery. If I have to compare against one, here's a 240. Here's the OG super light battery, cat hair included. You can see, so maybe not. It looks similar. I know it's a 290 milliamp battery. How much was the original one? Is it 240 or 250? It's 240, so we got an extra 50 milliamp hours in it. The uh, ribbon cable's changed. It's a different ribbon cable. That was the original super light ribbon cable. That's the same component. And that's what it looks like now. So they've changed the ribbon cable. Slightly wider. And they've changed the connector. It's a slightly wider connector. Maybe more bandwidth, something like that. This PCB is totally different. And they've drilled it out, trying to line up a bit. Looks like we've even got an inner skeleton. They've trimmed out some bits though, which is good. You know, listen to us a little bit. Slightly different, man. Same crappy tape. Even trim the rear off the skeleton. So they are listening, they've been watching. Took that back piece off. See a bit better now that this is the new one. This is the new 290 milliamp. And this is the OG 240 milliamp. So what's that? 0.2 of a gram. Can confirm the power plate is exactly the same. Same screws. I expect they'll change the positions, but we'll see. Hopefully. Looks like they've uh, reduced the screws as well. Not. I did Hero 2. Is it? Got a normal Hero 2, did on the other one? Here's one we murdered earlier. Super Light 1. Let's call it. We modded though. Yeah, and it has a hero on it, so you can definitely tell that. You can tell by the actual PCB shape because they're totally different. Will they fit? Hmm. I mean, the front screw will. <laughs> oh, look, it's the same button. Same little shitty small screws. <laughs> They're so lightly screws. Not 
Let me change the power plate design. Maybe it's that good, people don't need it changed. New power play. This is the old power play. Old and new. Exactly the same. MGST. Which means you might be able to actually interchange your power play if you got it for the super light one, I guess. Is the base the super light? No, it looks it looks slightly different. So here's the original base and this is the new base. So we've got a different sensor looking configuration. We've changed this over to the other side. It was no, it was on this side. They've switched over. Uh, the centre one's still there, and they've changed mm, changed the back a little bit. These bottom ones, but it's very very similar, isn't it? They've tried to like mill out this bottom bit. They've made the hexagon slightly bigger, and really, it's really much the same. Where the super light two base first, seven point eight nine. So they're going to be very similar, I reckon. <laughs> very much, <laughs> slightly. Fractionately heavier. You can't really weigh the magnets because they mess around the scales. I'd say max like 0.25. One gram, but it's up to you. I don't think they're one gram. Could be. We just play around. They made a slightly different style rear on it and then dimpled it. But what's the point in that? Honestly, that's really worth it. This is a better design. It actually takes some of the plastic out. Dimple in it because it's actually thicker at the back. Try to keep it lower, maybe profile, but all right. So, PCB definitely smaller USB C, but here's the older one, and there's a new one. A totally different PCB. Let's try the new one first. So the new one, the old one feels lighter somehow. Mm, similar. I'm gonna find the original measurements, best checking out with the tear down, it's easier. But you get an idea then. And then properly compare them. Pretty similar. That's what the MCU is. Like the real man angle. So the MCU is the NS 28. Three, three. And the Hero Sensor model on this one is Revision 4. It's JC121522. Yeah. He's getting a bit cooler here. They have actually taken off his back piece of the skeleton. Super Light 1, Super Light 2. And you can see on the back, they used to have this longer piece that we used to cut off. They've taken that off it. Looks like they've widened the battery base. Took out a bit more on this front plate as well here. We'll look a bit closer in a minute. We can see they took that out. And maybe I'll compare them. Same side button configuration though. Using the same two screw combination on the back button, or on the main buttons. That's the same, but it's not stopping any of that flex. I don't know why they've not looked at some of the mice that come out. Like if you push that, it's okay like that. When you push and move, which people do, they tend to push a bit so it moves left and right. Same exact button setup. It's not the same button, but you get the idea. So this is the new super light button. This is the old super light. And you can tell, I mean, I've got to be careful. These are absolutely identical. One's left, one's right, but you can see identical. No differences in the buttons. Even the rears are the same. That's the super light two. This is the super light one. I mean, Maybe it's lighter. Oops, here's the same actual side now. Should have done that first probably. So super light two, super light one. No difference. Including all the moldings are identical, which is why we've got crappy mouse button size. Super light two. Super light one. But it's slightly lighter, maybe the thin bit slightly. So, uh, what a surprise, it's using the Omrons. That's in the X, or 502X, aren't they? These are the same ones. 
I actually feel pretty good for Opto Max. They're definitely better than the uh, Omron 20 millions. It looks like they've thinned this PCB out quite a bit as well. But they're using a different connector. A bit annoying they're using the same crappy little spring here. Pull the scroll wheel down. Scroll wheel, absolutely identical. It's even got little black dots on it. Can't remember what they're for. China, it's a D2FP-FH1 brackets Logi. <laughs> China. Looks very similar to the PCB. Um, this one's been, this is a modded PCB, but so Superlight 2. G Pro Super Light 1. Actually the same. I thought they carved out the middle a bit here, but they haven't. It's the same. Different connector though, totally. So the same. The only difference is the Opto Max have this extra set of pins on the back here. They've got these four pins for the sensor. Whereas the OG ones have only got three pin stock. So it's using a standard TTC and it's probably an 8mm. Yeah, 8mm. What they have done though, which is impressive, is they've made this screw smaller. Not the same big screw anymore. They've shrunk it, look. Big screw. Little screw. God, at least thought they might have took out these little fins. But they haven't. <laughs> Why? So the shell. Come back to that bit in the middle. The shell looks absolutely identical. Inside, see the same ridges holding it together, same marks, same lines. Um, yep, it's the same. This is actually a slightly different Superlight 1, Superlight 2 shell. They have took away these little notches we used to cut off, which is good to see, but they are pretty much identical. See? an extra set of lines out here maybe i mean great same Looks like two shell first gonna be similar 12 and a half but this is 13 is it nope there you go this is definitely different a few more cutouts taking this belt um, left this side piece on, but trimmed it down a little bit. Pulling the old bearded bob. I see. Look at the way they cut this. Definitely taking some tips. Put little domes in the back. I've yeah, been watching uh, some of Bobby's magic. Took out the back as well. So maybe they've listened to us a little bit on the inside of the skeleton. Finally, the engineers have been watching, but they definitely haven't been watching with the side ones. I mean, they are the same. We'll take a closer look. So different maybe style here is in the, the way they are. So have a look in a minute, a bit more closer. Super Light 1 uh, skeleton and Super Light 2 skeleton. It's slightly shorter, but we know that because they cut the back of it as we've been doing for the last two years, something like that. Um, they've taken a bit more out of the shell of it a little bit, like trimmed it out a little bit. A few more holes, which is pretty good, but they've been definitely watching. We've actually made them slightly smaller. Some of them. Why didn't they just square them off? Maybe to stop this cracking. You have to go a bit off this side. Um, to be fair, they actually done that one, I forgot. Okay, maybe not, yep. They have tried to round it a bit here. Side buttons. The PCB is different, but... Mm, they, are, they are the same, yeah, maybe they haven't changed them. Maybe there's, I don't know, maybe they, they felt better or they changed the... There's definitely more movement in these ones. Maybe they just tightened up the screws a little bit. <laughs> They've been watching us. Right, Super Light 2, Super Light 1. Yep, yeah, they are the same. I thought maybe they tweaked it. But they haven't had them. Maybe they can't tell if they're matted them more or the actual coatings has come off. Maybe they're a little bit more matty. So, Super Light 2 side buttons. Super Light 1. Close look at the side buttons. 
Same on wrong? Yep. Same on wrong side switches. I don't know why they've changed the ribbon cable. Maybe it's more, it must be more bandwidth, right? The only thing I can think of is the reason why they've made this slightly longer. Sorry, slightly wider and thicker is the bandwidth it needs for the 2K pole in, something like that. So you've got the same little holes in the back if you're going to change them, see these little pinholes. This is where the Omron sticks through. That type of switch. But we've been these before, and what these are like. So, super light 2 cable. Here's the super light 1 cable. How much is that one? I forgot. Guys, probably what? Eight, isn't it? Similar, slightly lighter. Everything in the Super Light 2 seems to be slightly lighter. So, Super Light 2, Super Light 1, 2, 1. You can see it properly now. Got a couple more holes. Super Light 2 skeleton. Super Light 1 skeleton. And Superlight taken to pieces, Superlight 2. 